with their hands cut off. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Idiot. Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside, dead, you none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. Deader than a rat in a trap! And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. How about that? Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Even to Billy, and maybe discretion was the better part of valor. 
What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. You directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, hold me silent. Now, where was I? for the barn. Just when I thought I was done with them, all of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. Stepped inside, and BAM! Last thing I heard was...